Hi everybody. Um, last night I spent uh, a good like I don't know 30 minutes to an hour looking over a VOD with a good friend of mine analyzing the gameplay to see where I could get a little bit better and I just kind of want to um, kind of record my experience of just the day after doing some uh, like learning and just studying on my gameplay to see how it actually affected me. The, big, the biggest thing I wasn't doing was um, chinning the melee with blobs. I mean, I was I can do it, but you know, it's like I can't do it in every scenario. Um, so learning, you know, all those scenarios was something I was focusing on, and this was the run right after. Honestly, the next day, got some sleep, so I slept on it, and then um, this was my first run. Um, I don't make it to the end, but um, a lot of good improvements I saw. So let's take a look. Skip through this nonsense. Oh, also, I forgot a uh, soul rune, so I didn't have death charge. Let's keep going. I want to find some good examples. Like a lot of this is just basically standard. This is the first one, I think. You can get that bat with this blob, which is nice. Nice little 294 right there. That was good. Let's see if we can find another example. And we were moving, moving pretty good this this attempt too, which is unfortunate. And I died in such a bad way. I'll show obviously, but um, here this is always a good one. making sure you always get this one right here and something I didn't know was um, this is you know shout out to baller was that so range is the only one with range defense I didn't know that so something to keep in mind when you're chinning um, when you have to chin all of them and then he also was letting me know that melee nibbler it acts like a melee. I didn't know that, but also really important to know that um, so it, it will die one tick after, so always try to kill that one first, if possible. All right, let's keep going. All right, so this one, let's see if I can clump this. I, I wasn't sure, because it's like southwest tile is supposed to be, you know, the tiles where you can clump, so... I can't remember what I did. I was I kept it in mind. I wasn't sure if I knew how to. Yeah, I tried to walk forward to see if I could drag it, but obviously I walked a little bit too far. I should have probably stepped here instead. Um, I wonder if that would have worked. Mm, no, nah, I don't think so. And then I killed the melee last like a monkey. Like that bat. Oh, here, let's make sure I get that. This one just gotta learn. It's just easy right off the rip. Always a nice little free, free chin to bat. Blowpipe twice. One, two, and then into into the chin, which would have hit all of them. That's one thing I I worked on, which I was like happy the first time I saw it. I was able to execute it. So studying vods. Definitely a good play. So two good, uh, two good chin opportunities here. Right off the rip, and here I remember what I struggled with was like, okay, I, I was like trying to get into position, which to make it so that you can blow pipe this guy and into the stack, and it's like take your time. You have time to blow pipe twice and get in position. That's like what I was focused on. I was like just blow pipe twice, and I have plenty of time. One, two, and then boom chin would have worked. Nice. I was happy about that. And like it's like these ways, like you get this is the ways with blob and melee. It's like you get a few of these right back to back to back, so you get some practice in. Here I wasn't I, I wasn't too sure what to do. I got a little nervous, but I was I, I think I ended up making it work out. So yeah two ninety and then here I didn't know kind of how to react super fast, but I need to turn off Slayer XP because that will definitely help 
realize like what's dead, what's alive. Um, let's go to the start. Sorry for my uh, bad um, video skills here. I know I'm not doing too good, but all right, blow pipe. It's dead. Hit it one, two. Did I? What did I do? Did I hit it twice or three times? I couldn't tell. All right, let's see how many times I blow pipe. So that's one, two, and three. Yeah, I do three just to get just to get in position. I guess I think that's the right spot. I'm sure you can go to other spots, but I was able to get everything there. So I did three blow pipes into that, which ended up working out nice. So I was happy about this. Here I was trying to was like just get on the blob, forget about the melee, but whatever. Cool. Still pretty good. I was able to get the, the chin spot again. Um, I'm going to skip most of this. Kind of just keep going back to where you get uh, the melee with the blobs. So that's kind of what I'm really trying to focus on right now. Okay, let's go here. This should be good. I think this is start of range, blob melee. Nice. So I try to I try to get them all. Looks like I hit a twenty four or twenty one XP. I wonder. Yeah, I don't. There's no way. No no point to try to clump. I think I made the a decent move of going this way, but. Definitely not the best. Yeah, since the melee stuck here, I shouldn't I shouldn't have gone around. I should have just gone right there. And then just started going making my way over to the ranger. Luckily this kinda worked out, kinda, minus one. Yeah. Alright, let's see what I decided to do. So I feel like I had two options here. I saw this and I was like I was like, my standard is always just try to go behind the west pillar and just bring everything down there. But when I look at this again, I'm trying to think, can you, is it worth going over there to clump the melee and the blob? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so because I just learned southwest tile is the clumpable spot. And I don't think it will work. Bro, wait, can't you go over here though? Uh... No, I don't think it works. Yeah, I think I made the right play. Run over here. Lure everything. Here I had a hard time kind of seeing what the fuck was going on. I I I think it works this way. I need to I need to realize if this is like the same pillar safe spot that you can do like on this side. You can stand here and you're safe spotted from the melee. So, maybe I might have been safe right there, but I just didn't know. But, um, so let's go back just a second. Because this is one, two, three. One, two, three, four. The fourth tile would have been safe. One, two, three, four tiles safe on that side. So, yeah, I'm on the fourth tile. I think this is safe. And it probably was. But since I didn't know, I was like, okay, I was like, I'm going to get attacked. So let me just tank this and make, make my way to the blob. Which I do. Kill it. Go here. This is stackable. Boom. Nice. That was really cool. Ended up being able to stack. Anyways. Alright, let's see here. Just looking to see if this can be stacked. Um. Southwest tile. I don't think you can stack this easily, so I don't think it's worth it. I don't think. I mean, if you can, I need to learn. I can't see it. Alright, this wave's done. Let's keep going. Oh, 
Okay, so this this wave, I like. I remember when right when I clicked there, I was like, I was trying to remember what I learned here, and let me show. Let me get over here. So um, I want to go just cool. So I learned to help with pathing because my problem was on this actually I think like exact spawn. I hit these and my move is to make my way to this guy right here. Um, which now in hindsight I don't even know I don't know if that's even the best play. I think there might be a better play. Um, okay. Kind of losing my train of thought here, but I will. I'm gonna go over what I did and maybe how to make that better. But then I'm gonna maybe try to review and um, theorize what I could have done better. So what I chose to do is click this, and then I'm gonna make my way over to this blob. What I learned yesterday is with pathing, if you want to make sure you're going diagonal and up, like you want to make sure you're going diagonal, and it's like more important to stay towards the south side because the melee is here. You want to be clicking higher as opposed to farther to the uh, to the west. That's something that Poppy showed me too. Or shout out to Baller again. Um, that's really clutch because I was losing a tick and like that, every tick, that tick I lost was like in pathing and so this melee was able to tag me every time. So if I was able, if I'm able to click a little bit higher, my character will either run up this way and then diagonal or straight diagonal, which is, you know, both good options for me. What I, my character's doing, you'll see because, let's see what happens here. Yeah, see, I'm not clicking high enough. I click right here, which paths me two tiles to the west, which is um, what I'm trying to avoid, which puts me way too close to this when it ends up making me get hit. Um, so I need to be clicking somewhere up here, so it makes me go all the way around. And then I kind of, I mean, I tried to adjust by clicking up higher on my next click, but it's like, it's too late. It's like, it, oh, it's, um, it's gone. But I realized too, like I was like, I'm down a tick. I don't want to get hit by this melee, so I, I just miss a tick on purpose, and um, just try to do that safely because uh, I'm already, you know, dead. Here, this just dies, which is kind of nice. I'm standing in the wrong spot too, so um, yeah. See, I I kind of was turned around. I need to stand. I need to be standing right there, one tile south of me, to be able to make it so you can get everything together. Because then. You'll see this scuffed melee. And then I leave. I don't know why I'm attacking the melee. You should just make your way here, clump the melee with everything. But it ends up working out, I guess. All right. Um, I go on. Actually, I'll show my death because it's just, it's just tragic. Tragically bad, and there's also like this other wave that was bad. Oh my gosh, check this out! Oh man, this was just this is fun. Right, let's see if I let's get the full thing. All right, so 20 HP, double bats, you know, no big deal. They die, didn't take damage. What else can you ask for? Pretty good. So we're chilling. All right. Yep. Obviously, he's gonna respawn. Don't kill it in one shot. It's okay. Misclick. Tank a melee. Make sure I flick the blob. Another bat, of course. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Killed it. Nice. Okay. We're doing good. I'm doing good. I'm like, you know, I wasted enough time. Let me just kill the blob and try to get the mage in here. I was like, it's got 34 HP. I'm like, please die. A couple bow or blowpipes. Now a couple bows. I'm dying. Blowpipe spec. Nothing. I'm like, I'm gonna die. Live redemption, and we're moving on to the next wave. That was fun. Monka S for sure. Um. Okay, let's keep going. There was another fun wave. Something similar to that. I think it's this one. All right, get the mage low, mic perfect. Let me let me take down this melee. Spec nothing as normal. 
it's dying, it's dying, scythe, it doesn't die. And when I, when this happens, I think I just need to be careful and manually path because when you when I panic and I just like run away because I'm like, oh my god, I'm underneath the mage, what do I do? I just panic and then it paths me and I, you always end up on this tile where you get meleeed. And I take the melee because 99 defense. Scythe it on 1 HP basically, doesn't die, of course. Spicy. First run of the day, too. Oh god, I don't even want to show this. I'm like, oh, it's dead. 96 is 22. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm like, I have time. Let me just blow pipe because. I'm... Oh man, whatever. That's all I got. I'm going to end it there. Hopefully, um, you all learned something, too. Thanks.